Good afternoon, YouTube. We're back with the Fat Guys Barbecue. Hope everyone had a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. We're back with the first of the year. It's the first snowfall of the year happened this week. Jacob and I still been busy at work. Hope you both had, everybody had a great year. New Year and Happy Christmas and today we're doing a new recipe for us but everybody seems to be doing it we're going to try it. Shotgun shells. What are we going to use? We're going to use one pound. This is a mild Italian sausage. We're going to use it. So, and then we're going to use some, we'll use cheddar cheese, the shredded cheddar cheese. Let's get some of it out here. Yeah, this is the bad kind we didn't, it's easier to melt. We'll use about a, about a cup. We're going to have it wrapping manicotti shells. This is where we're going to put the mixture in, the manicotti shells. Whole manicotti shells, we'll fill it up. Wrap it in bacon. There's our bacon, you see. We've got just a regular bacon that we always use. We use the bacon that we get bulk and just put in freezer bags. And we're going to use one can. Everybody knows, Jacob and I likes our chilies. But we're going to use one can of jalapeno and hatched chilies. And I like those chilies, don't you, Jacob? Yeah, I do. And then we're going to go with one spice today. This is the Dano's Low Sodium. Because this portion will be loaded in sodium. It's low sodium, but it's a spicy Dano's. The pop, pop, pop trigger finger. We'll load it down real good and get a good mixture in it. So what we're going to do is just mix everything together. What we're going to do, Jacob's done got his smoker. We're at Jacob's compound today. Jacob's got his smoker lit up out back. Up to 250 degrees. You'll see several cooks going on today with that. We got several cooks going on at one time. So you'll see that. We'll just get all this mixed in. And then what we'll do, take our manicotti shells, we'll do our best not to bust them. But we've got plenty of shells here. I've actually already dumped some in the floor and had to throw some away already. We'll do, I'm going to show you how we're just going to stuff this one. We'll stuff them up real good. Make sure we get it all the way to the bottom. This sausage of cookies, manicotti shells will tender up. These will take about two hours to cook. But they'll be good with those peppers and cheese and that sausage in it. Some people use ground beef. I like a little bit of sausage. Like I said, we're going to wrap it in that bacon. See, we got sausage coming out both ends here. We'll fill that one corner up right there. We'll do one more for you and then we'll come back. We'll fill the rest up. I'll do this one more for you, like I said, just easing it out here. Did any of you get snow? I know our local viewers are going to say, yeah, we had a, didn't have a snowy Christmas. Sunday night, it started snowing somewhere up into the night. We woke up on Monday. We had about five inches of snow in a lot of places. Some of them had more. It's 
See, there's there's two, and like I said, we'll wrap them in bacon. But we'll bring you back once we start to wrap the bacon. I'll show you the bacon process. All right, YouTube, we're back with the bacon. We got ourselves. You can see I've covered some of them up already. We'll show you how we do this. I just start at the top, work my way around. Sometimes it might take two. This piece of bacon is going to do good with one. And then we'll just wrap another one. <clears throat> Get your bacon here. If it's got bacon on it, you know Jacob and I were in the mood for bacon. What's better than bacon, Jacob? Uh, very few things, as long as it's crispy bacon. <laughs> Alright, he goes to that crispy bacon stuff again. He'll learn to eat one bacon, good bacon one of these days. Alright guys. I'm going to take one glove off here. We're going to dust the outside. This is that frag out flavor that we've had we've used several times on other stuff i know we used it on the bologna before we're going to dust this bacon and we're just going to dust it let's do another bacon flavor dust layers of flavor Look at all this. And then we'll put these on the grill. At 250, they'll smoke for a couple hours. We'll show you them going on the grill, but they're ready, pretty much ready to go on the grill now. What you'll see is put them on the grill. We'll be back in just a minute, YouTube. All right, YouTube. There we are with our shotgun shells, getting ready to go into the YouTube. The YS640 here that Jacobs compound. We're running at 250. What we're gonna do is just pile it up right here. We'll pile it, we got that try tip of burning here. We're going to watch it too. Guys, it's football season. Playoffs are getting ready to start. These shotgun shells will be good appetizer for it with your buddies. cook about two hours here on those shotgun shells will come off and then they'll be ready to eat also see you in about two hours YouTube all right YouTube we're back here with the shotgun shells let's look at them, them up and look at them here I moved them around look at that Jacob that's even got crispy bacon on it for you mmm Those are nice and soft. Hold one up there to the camera. Look at that. That looks good. And then our piece of bacon that we've had cooking. <laughs> There you go, Jacob. Well, here you go. I'll split it with you. It's, it's hot. You think we're going to let these cool down for just a second? We'll come back and give it a, a sample. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to sample these shotgun shells. Cut one and two here. I'm going to take half of it. Jacob will take the other half. Jacob done showing you there. Let's try it while you see what we got. Put it up. Mm. 
Look at that. That's pretty good, Jasper. They're pretty warm. <laughs> but they're good. The cheese and chili. And mild sausage. Wrapped in bacon. I believe that's a winner. So what we do with this cook? We'll wrap it up here. We took a pound of mild Italian sausage, put about a cup of cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese, one can of green hatched chilies, mixed it in, fill the cheese, the mixture into the manicotti shells that we bought from Walmart. Wrapped in bacon, put on the grill for right at two hours at 250 degrees, and it was ready to eat. Guys, give it a try. We want to say thank you for watching our video. Give us a like, share, subscribe, hit those bells, hit the notifications. Make sure you get notified every time the fat guys post the video. Guys, we want to make sure that you understand we want to thank you for watching the Fat Guys, guys Barbecue. barbecue.